I'm Allie. Join me in creating this simplistic charm necklace and earring set featuring the Potomac Crystal Oval Nuggets. Remember, if you ever need any of the supplies for any of our videos, check out the description below the video. There's a little down carrot there. You can press that to get links to shop with us online and get the full list of materials. Gather up your supplies and let's get started. So to begin, we have our 15-0 four millimeter glass pearl and a 15-0 seed bead, followed by a Potomac Crystal Oval Nuggets. We're gonna be using the Oval Nuggets because they're great to keep beads at the top and the bottom. Obviously, you can do this with a round bead as well, but an oval or a coin shape is gonna be really nice to keep it tight around the top and the bottom. When you're wearing it flush against your body, it will stay in place. Once you have that on, I'm using a size six black dragon thread and I have a size 10 needle on here. Just a stop bead at the end and I have about three feet of thread that I'm working with. We're gonna create our beaded section. We are going to add our clasp and then we're going to come back down and do the opposite side of the chain portion of the bead portion of our necklace. So to begin, we are going to start with a pattern of 15 then our pearl, 15, pearl, and we're going to repeat this a total of four times. Now, this is a really simple pattern and a simple inspiring design, and for different beads and different shapes, you may have to change up the pattern. But the nice thing is when you're changing up the pattern, it's a very simple change. You just wanna make sure that it's not too tight around your design. If you have beads that you notice that the fit is a little bit too big or a little bit too small, you can always omit or add some 15 OC beads. I like the 15s because they fit really nicely and the pearls sit and pop right next to them. So once you have on those four pearls with 15s on either side, you're gonna take your thread and needle and go back through just that oval nugget. Pulling that tight then, you're going to give that nice tight pull on your thread and you're gonna notice that that hangs out at the bottom of the piece. We are going to repeat the same thing at the top of the piece, adding in our same rotation of our seed beads, our pearls, seed bead pearls, and once we get on four of those, we're gonna repeat the step as well. So I'm just gonna keep adding my pearls and my 15s, and sometimes the glass pearls can be a little bit tricky, they have a little bit of a tail, the way that they're coated. And once you have those on, again, you want a 15 at the beginning and the end, because that's gonna help it sit really nicely along the oval. You're gonna go through the oval and then come out to the opposite side here, give a nice tight pull, and then we're simply going to repeat, adding a 15-0, a four millimeter bead, a 15-0, letting that drop down next to the oval, and then we're going to add another additional oval bead. So we're going to add an additional oval bead on, push that against the last one, and continue on with the design. I'm going to do a total of eight of my beads, keeping two for a set of earrings to match and look nice with the piece. So they come in a pack of 10. I'm going to do a total of eight like this, and then I'm going to start my beaded chain section, which is just going to be a pearl and a C bead pattern. After you finish up with your center section of your pearls wrapped around the crystals, you're going to just continue with the same pattern of one 15 one pearl, and so forth for however long you want it to be. The center section is about five inches, so it's up to you if you want it to be a choker length or hang a little bit longer. I love the look of the 15s because they make it look like it is knotted without all of that extra effort. At the end, because it's a decently heavy necklace, I am going to add just a regular cuff button. So coming out of my last pearl here, I'm going to add two 15 OC beads and come up through the cup button. If you have a smaller crystal, you could add that in the middle if you want to get that look. I'm just gonna add three 15 OC beads. And the color of crystal that I am using is that sea luster color. It goes really, really pretty with silvers and blues. Coming down then through the cup button, I'm gonna add three more, or sorry, two more of my seed beads rather. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to reinforce this clasp before we take our thread and needle the whole way back through the center of our project to do the pearled knotted looking section on the other side. So to reinforce, we're gonna skip from the last two seed beads here all the way down to the two seed beads that we added prior to the cup button. 
we're going to come through the cup button then. So we're basically circling it around. Give a nice little tight pull there, making sure that you don't have a lot of extra thread showing. You can sew through the beads or just tuck the thread underneath them. Come down through the two seed beads right after. And then you're going to take your thread and needle and you're going to progress the whole way down the piece, reinforcing that thread. So you can see I'm going to take that down a little bit here. I'm going to go the whole way through the center of the design. So when I get to the middle here, I'm going through the crystal nugget, that oval nugget, as well as 15 pearl 15, the whole way to the opposite side. When I get to the opposite side, we're going to repeat that same pearl stitch with just the pearls and the 15s on the opposite side to make those sides match. Once you're done that, we're going to bring it back down towards that starter bead and we're going to tie our thread ends off. If you are doing the design exactly as I'm doing, just know that you are going to need two strands of your pearls because we use a lot of pearls in this pretty sophisticated design. Once you get to the other side, you are going to, if you're using a cut button, make a loop out of your 15 O seed beads. So I have the same length and the same pattern. I've added 32 of my 15 O seed beads. And just like we did on the other side, we're going to reinforce this and we are going to make it into a loop. So I'm going to take my needle and thread and go back through all of those seed beads. So you'll notice that starts to create a loop. You want to make sure, just based on your seed beads, that the cup button will fit inside that loop. Sometimes if you're using Toho's or an off-brand, um, it may be a little bit less or a little bit more that you need, especially if you're using Charlotte's. And once you have that reinforced then, guess what? We're coming right back down the pattern all the way till we get to the thread ends meeting. So I'm going to sew the whole way down here. You'll have more thread than me. I usually have less because of being on camera. I don't cut it as far, so I don't have as much to pull, but you're going to make sure that fits right in there nicely. Bring it the whole way down, take this bead stopper off and tie those two thread ends together to finish up your necklace. Now for the earrings, we're going to do them a little bit differently. So we're going to grab some wire to create our earrings in the same fashion, but we're going to make them a little bit stiffer. So that way we make sure that our seed beads and our pearls stay to the sides of the piece. So if you finish off your project and you hold it up and you realize that the tension's not quite right and that top strand of pearl starts falling down, that won't happen on a bracelet because it's going to be laying down directly on your wrist. But for the necklace, and this is the reason that we're doing the earrings with wire, which I'll show, you can go in and you can basically catch the top of all of those pearl ridges. We're going to start with the thread coming back down from that strand of beads sew through the 15 pearl and then jump up to the 15 pearl 15 pearl 15 pearl come on out the 15 the third one in the set so after the third pearl go through the 15 and come on out add another pearl to your strand and then we're going to go through the top here just connecting to the 15 pearl 15 pearl 15 that lays along the top so you're going to be sewing through three 15s and the two pearls that sit between you want to make sure to come out through those 15s so you get your spacing correct. What that's going to do is drop that pearl right in the middle there. You can see it starts to turn the design into a nice kind of arch and it just adds that little pretty pearl to the top. So again, grab one of your pearls, coming on out the top here, skip over to the next arch at the top. You're going to sew through 15 pearl. 15 pearl, 15. And you may not want to do this. You may want to keep it open, especially because this pattern can be used for a bracelet, necklace, all of that good stuff. And then I have that stuck there at the top again. So once again, now I'm going to go in and add another pearl and connect to the top. You want to make sure as you're doing this not to pull too tight. If you want to, you can also add 15s on either side of the pearl to catch it onto there, but don't pull too tight because then it really starts to turn the necklace. I'm just doing it to hold everything right at the top, adding in one pearl between each one of those sets. Once you have those pearls completed on there, you can see how it gives it a little bit more of that collar look and keeps the top to the top. When you get to the other side, you're just going to come down through the beads along the other side. 
and then just knot off your thread. So how to knot off your thread? A couple different ways. The nice thing is the black thread you will not see with these silver lined Miyuki beads. So I'm gonna take this thread actually almost and make a stop bead because I'm not gonna be able to see it. So you're pulling that thread around, start looking it around through that 15 OC bead. And then what I'm gonna do is pull it further into the design. So I'm gonna pull it through my middle bead here, knot it off again somewhere towards the interior, going through, catching onto a bridge thread and doing a simple sewer's knot. Once you're done with the necklace, if you want to continue on and make the matching pair of earrings with us, you're gonna want some 28 gauge wire. 26 will also work, 24 is getting close, but depending on your pearls, may work for you as well too. Once you have that thread knotted off, you're just gonna go ahead and burn the extra thread edges for your necklace design. So now for the earrings, we're gonna to switch to a little bit of wire working. So I have my round nose pliers, my wire cutter, and then my needle nose or chain nose pliers as well. And I want a piece of 28 gauge wire. The 28 gauge wire that I'm using is right about four or five inches. And the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to put a bead, one of our pearls, onto the wire. We're gonna to try to keep the wire rather straight, and we're gonna bend up the wire and pinch it just with our fingers because it's 28 gauge right above that pearl trying to make sure that we can get to the hole of the pearl along the bottom of the earring from here i have about three inches on one side one inch on the other i'm going to drop on through both wires my crystal if you need to you can kind of pinch that up and turn it a little bit we're going to force it to turn anyway from here i'm going to grab my longer strand and we are going to pick up our series just like we did in the necklace of our 15 and then our pearls and then 15. And just like the necklace, we are going to repeat this a total of four times, making sure that we're starting and ending with our 15 O's. So 15 O goes on, pearl goes on, and again, up to four of those. Make sure you have your 15 on at the end. And then we're gonna take our wire and we are going to loop it around our oval. Oops, one more CB to go on. Use it like a needle. All right, so now that we have this, you're gonna bring your wire down to the side. See how flexible that nice Potomac's 28 gauge wire is? We're going through the pearl. So we took it down to the side of the crystal, going through the pearl, giving it a nice tight pull. And now we're gonna repeat on the other side, adding our 15 pearl 15, again, four of our pearls, followed by a total of five seed beads. So it works out usually, especially if you've been using a bead needle and thread this whole time. And this also works if you would like to create little pendants or drops on your piece as well. All right, once you have four on here, you're gonna come to the top of the piece. So I've got those four on. I'm bending my wire to the top of the piece and I'm gonna take this short piece of wire that I have left and I'm going to twist it around that upper piece. So just nice and simple, one, two twists. Pushing that down, I'm gonna take my wire cutter and I'm going to cut off that extra little wire there because I don't need it. From here, I'm gonna grab my last pearl. So I'm using a total of 10 pearls per earring to mimic my necklace. I'm gonna put the pearl on, let it drop down, and I'm naturally going to use my pliers to just kind of pull up. What that's going to do is force those pearls to sit to the side and you can see I can wiggle that and the pearls aren't going anywhere. From here, grab your round nose pliers and you're gonna turn around the round nose pliers once and twice with that thin 28 gauge. The reason we're using the 28 gauge is to go through that pearl three times. Again, 26 will also work, 24 will get tight depending on your pearl. And then you're gonna just take your needle nose pliers and hold as you wrap the wire around two times around that top. Cut the extra wire off, pinch that wire down 
grab your ear wire. Anytime you're grabbing an ear wire, you wanna make sure that you're opening by pulling to the side. You're gonna to pull to the side of that ear wire, grab your earring, put that on, and close it up to complete your set. So whether or not you're doing a necklace where you're adding the seed beads and the little pearls in, whether or not you're doing a bracelet, just like the white one here, where you're just keeping the pearls to the side, or you're doing some wire and grabbing some earrings. It's really fun to play around with some of these simple materials and get a really elegant, elegant look with a very, very simple design. Thanks so much for joining me in this simplistic charm video. Hopefully it gave you a lot of ideas to make a beautiful set, maybe with some materials you already have on hand. Remember, if you do need any materials, go ahead and look below the video in our description to shop with us online. If you haven't yet, make sure that you subscribe and hit that subscribed channel so you don't miss anything from us here at Potomac Beats. As always, thanks for watching and can stay tuned for our next inspirational video.